going on, everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part number two of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We are continuing onwards and forwards in the gameplay walkthrough. We, of course, left off on a pretty major cliffhanger as Zelda seemingly has been, well, I, I guess kidnapped? We don't really know what exactly has transpired, but basically her and her Loftwing have been sucked into this big giant tornado and supposedly they have now been brought to the land below and so that is where our next stop will hopefully take us as now link sets out to go on ahead and rescue zelda and bring her back to the skyloft now of course guys or is it skyloft or sky lands I don't remember, but regardless, don't forget, if you guys do enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also go on ahead and become a member. There's a link for that at the top of the description and pinned in the chat. And of course, in addition to that, guys, if you'd like to go on ahead and ask an urgent comment or question, you can use the super chat function. With all that being said, let's get rocking and let's get rolling. What's up? What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing? Rick Sanchez, what's up? Galvatron Prime, what's up? Bruh, bruh. 69 Lives, how are you doing? Zofo, how are you doing? Kex Cook, what's up? Joseph R, what's up? Jake Does Gaming, how are you? Max plays Roblox, what's up? Blake Wilson, what's up? Venom Nightmare says hello. Wait, hello there, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we are back, back at it again. And ready to get a move on. Here's Fledge. Lord of Shadows, what's up? How you doing? That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Wow! <laughs> I, I love the excitement that we go from, hey, you should take this with you. Oh, bam! Super excitement from Link. Okay, thank you. We got an adventure pouch. Cool. Okay. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. Wow. I'm shocked by that. Wow. An adventure pouch for adventures? Wow. Phenomenal. Uh, it's neat because you can fit four things in it uh, that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar uh, that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch, and they might come in handy on an adventure. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Okay. Or Zelda for us, I think. Because for us sounds like Toys R Us. Hey, and here's Colin. Hey, doesn't he sound like somebody that would talk like this? Hey, I just saw the news. Or like, even more nasally. Like, out of all of us, how come only you got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of that, Groose won't come out of his room, and Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. Okay, so obviously very, very pleasant fellow there. Um, now, this is the exit, isn't it? I think so. Okay, so we're going to go to the uh, bazaar in order to buy some stuffs. <laughs> Sir German knows is like, really, bro? Zelda's the green uh, is the green dude. Yes. Zel no, sorry. No, 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 no. My bad. Bro, I was confused about that all the time as well, Marsh. Uh, no, this is Link. Uh, Zelda is the uh, princess. I think she's a princess. Actually, I'm not even sure if she is a princess. I think she is. Isn't she? Princess Zelda. I'm pretty sure that's her title. Uh, Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light had appeared the south of our location. Signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. Did we just see a loft wing in the sky? I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Okay. Couldn't she just create them or something? Like, seriously. Okay, we're gonna need probably all the cash that we can get because I don't know how much a shield costs. But I would imagine it has to be quite pricey. Okay, so now we can actually head inside the marketplace. Whoa, I like the music in here. Everything's looking pretty chill. Hello, who are you? It's Gru. Only one thing to do when you're tired, get some sleep. You can sleep anywhere. There's a bed, you know? 
That's not how it works. That's bad advice. That's bad advice. Sleep in your own bed. Skyloft is a different place uh, after the sun goes down. It's no lie. Find a bed and take a nap uh, to sleep until nightfall. There's all kinds of curious things to enjoy at night. That's creepy. Uh, so, you're on your way to becoming a knight now, right? Congratulations! But I'm sure there's still plenty you don't know. Don't forget to press the uh, right D-pad key if you need a pointer or two. Okay. Sounds good. Do you sell something? Next to dash of pepper. Delicious. Another culinary delight. Ready to be served and enjoyed. Okay. We're making a bit of a mess. Let's move along. Um, hello. Is this a fortune teller? It's spirit! Gaze into my eyes. Stare deeply into my eyes. These eyes see many things. Oh, yes. These lovely round eyes can even see into the future. That's creepy. Allow me to tell you your fortune, boy. Do you doubt these eyes? I look upon your short shirt, boy, and I see a single thread loose on your sleeve stitching. Nothing can hide from these eyes. Normally, I seek, ten, I seek ten rupees to tell a fortune, but this time I will charge but one rupee. Okay. This is just Fortnite performance mode? Dang, dude. Disrespectful. Um, okay, sure. Let's see what our fortune is. Yes, I knew it. Ah, what a treat. You are the first customer I've had in a while. Oh, I mean, I'm the best at what I do. You can trust these glistening eyes. Very well. Let me see what I can see. Yes, your fortune. It's all coming into focus now. I think this person is just, is just scamming us, honestly. Ah, I see many things. All is revealed. Young man, are you about to head into a densely wooded area? I don't know. Somewhere blanketed in green? Yes. Ah, my eyes. They see all. Trees everywhere. Yes, many trees. It would serve you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. I can see that you are a bit young and green yourself, so it couldn't hurt to take a heart potion with you. That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes. They grow weary. Come see me again. If I should lose... Sorry, if you should lose your way. Good luck, young man. Okay, I don't know if uh, that feels like it was kind of a scam, but okay. Hello, do you sell shields? Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And your shield takes a beating. If, if your shield takes a beating, no worries. I can fix that too. So what will it be? Um, How much does it cost to upgrade? Oh, okay. So I have to go on ahead and get a shield first. What else do you have over here? Master Link. This treasure chest-like object is a relic of ancient times left by the goddess of her, uh, for her chosen hero. However, I lack any information on how it can be opened at this time. Interesting. There's a new type of chest, one that we currently cannot interact with. I don't think we can interact with anything over here, actually. Hello, what do you sell? It's Beatrice. Hello, and welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So is there anything in your pouch or storage that you want to move? No. That enthusiasm. Oh, really? Great. Not like my time is worth anything. I love that enthusiasm from that lady. Okay, so this looks like a potion seller. It's love! Hey there, you there. Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm, let me tell you. One look at you, and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh, dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you, though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle. So it's a useful thing to carry around. Ta-da! What a gift. What a gift. We got an empty bottle. How exciting. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press the R key to take a look. First, while holding R, choose the item you want to use. Okay. Release R to select that item. Easy, right? If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item Ooh. check. 
So what would you like to buy? Um, okay, well, I guess here's an empty bottle. Oh, wait, so I can just scoop things? Did I just scoop it or no? I don't get it. Maybe I'm supposed to... Okay, hold up. Okay, sure. Oh, okay. So I have to first learn about the actual potion. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Let me put that away. Uh, the stamina gauge from being depleted for a while. Ooh, that would be pretty handy, actually. Especially because we've already run into problems where the stamina oh. gauge is slow. Or low, I should say. Okay, what about this green one here? Oh, oh wait, that's the one that I was already asking about. So what's the red one? Is that the one for healing? Yeah, yeah. okay. Eight hearts? Yes, please. Okay, well, we got it. You got a heart potion. When placing your pouch, you can use this item to restore eight hearts. <laughs> All right, wonderful. So now I just need to talk to this guy, and hopefully he has a shield. Hello. And I purchased this? That's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful, though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. And, oh, don't forget about fire. It will be, it will burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It could be yours for 50 rupees. Care to buy it, friend? Sure. I mean, I have to buy it, it seems like. This game originally came out in 2011 for the Wii. Yep. That's why it feels somewhat dated, because it is a decade old, right? Like, there's not a whole lot of games that are a decade old that look great. Right? I've taken the liberty of placing your purchases in your pouch. Press the R key to open it, then equip what you need. Okay, so there we go. We have... We have that equipped. What are these? Looks like arrows. I don't know what these are. These look like bombs or something. Oh, no, never mind. Some sort of fruit, isn't it? Bomb bag. Oh, okay. So I can't get some of these other things right now. Okay, so that's for slingshotting. Got it. All right, so I guess at some point we'll unlock a slingshot, a bow, and then a bomb bag. Those are all things that we get to look forward to. For now, onwards and forwards to the next part of our adventure. Why does he look like an apple to me? Who does? The guy or Link? <laughs> the guy that was selling us stuff there? Okay, so I think we can just dive off the edge here and then press down on the D-pad to get rocking and rolling. Here we go! Let's go, Loftwing! Now we head towards that bright green light. We're gonna get some elevation to gain some speed and then dive. Look at that momentum. Ooh, nicely done. Okay, here we go, guys. The moment of truth. We're going down to the land below for the very first time. Zelda games are always pog. Fair enough, fair enough. Cold Spidey, I'll post this week's uh, stream schedule on um, probably today in the evening. Tuck says, Blitz, did you see the Booga has a skin in Fortnite? Night Fort? Yes. And in Fortnite, apparently. Okay, we have landed successfully, everybody. Master, please make sure to use your sailcloth when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I should have done that, huh? Okay, 
And then we can engage it by using ZR before landing. Got it, got it, got it. Are you playing with motion controls or sticks? Uh, I'm playing with a pro controller, so sticks. Uh, this is the fabled surface. Uh, by my calculations, you're currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Interesting. It looks like there's a castle up ahead. But we don't see any signs of life right now, aside from the castle, of course, because obviously somebody must have built that. So there's the Skyloft. And down below are the Sealed Grounds. Look how it zooms in. Nice. Okay. Cool, that's quite convenient to have a nice map. Please proceed with caution, Master. All right, roger that. What is this statue? Is this to save? Hello? I don't even know what that is. Huh, okay. Uh-oh. Wait, how do you block? I need to know how to block. No, 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 no. Equip the shield. What's the key to... Wait, wait. How did I just do that? Wait, no. Maybe why? No. That puts away all the loot. Oh, boy. I don't know how to block! How do you block? Hold Spidey, I just answered that question, dude. Oh, I see. Okay, maybe I don't need to block here. Okay, I do need to block. Slice and dice. Whoo! Press R? Does not. What? Oh boy, this is not looking good. It'd be nice if the game told me how to block. That'd be appreciated. <sighs> oh, why did the daytime and nighttime just? switch back and forth there. That was kind of odd. I bet you like on the other, like if you're playing motion controls, you probably just pick up the left hand and then he'll be able to block. But here, it's kind of a problem. Dang, that sucks, Rick Sanchez. Whoa. Okay, so there's that monster thing again. It has appeared, and it seems like... Link has been stunned once more. He's not really sure what to do, it looks like. Okay, so fortunately enough, we have lots of healing right here, which gets us right back. Okay, so that's the stab. I wonder if you use the other stick. No, you don't. Huh. I really don't know what the... R just puts away the shield. I don't think there's a way to block. Oh, you click in the stick, the left stick. Got it. That's what it is. So you press it in. Okay, sweet. I was going to say, I'm like, if there's no way to block, that would be kind of crazy. Wait, hold the R. Why does he pull out the sword right away? I don't understand it. Hello. 
Young one, child of the destiny descended from the sky. Sounds kind of ominous, for sure. Raise the sword of the goddess Skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Wouldn't that be a bad thing? I think that's a bad thing, no? Yeah, but I didn't want him to do a, a ground pound attack. I wanted to press ZR to not take damage. Instead, I took a heart of damage. There's no enemies to ground pound there. Uh, Master Link, I am sensing a change in the area that was triggered by a Skyward Strike. I have also detected an ore that correlates closely to your cell cloth. I surmise this ore belongs to Zelda. It can lead, sorry, I can lead you in this direction, uh, in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain the process to you? Sure. I have no idea what that means. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something that you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through a vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Ooh, cool. Hold the up button on the D-pad and select Zelda as your dowsing target. Then point to the directions you wish to search. Okay, well, it seems to be like settled over here, no? Wouldn't that... Okay, I guess that indicates that it's up there, right? Okay, let's douse again. Okay, so we got to go up high. Fair enough. Okay, so it's probably through there, but hold up. I'm curious to see if there's anything up here. What are these? Nothing. Really? There's nothing here? Huh. That was kind of anticlimactic. You make your way over there and then just absolutely nothing. Space Jam 2 was poggers. Haven't seen it yet. Don't have an opinion on it. I just heard that the reviews were kind of bad across the board. Look for what? Okay, let's see. There's a bug. Which, again, I'm sure there will be a point in time where we actually get a chance to capture bugs. But right now, we don't have a bug net. Okay, so my guess is that the dowsing is going to point towards... Right there. Okay, got it. So before I move along... I can't jump up there, unfortunately. That seems like a pretty ridiculous leap, so I can't really get any more hearts replenished. So for now, let's knock on this door. That seems to be enchanted with some sort of spell. Can we even open it? Yes, we can. Okay, great success. Uh, Achilles Gaming says, hi, I'm a big fan. What's up, man? Ooh. A very fancy looking castle. Or temple. Pardon me. A sealed temple. Ooh. Some loot, possibly. Whoops, that's a chest. Why am I trying to hit it? Ooh, nice. We got a revitalizing potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. Neat. So I should be able to equip that now. Cool. We actually do have it equipped. We can break these. Can this open? It cannot. Okay. We probably aren't meant to go towards that big giant light over there, but... Let's do a little bit of exploring. Ooh, nice. Okay, cool. Replenishing our 
rupees. Now, this should be a save point, right? Hello. Sweet. So we do recognize this particular bird statue. For some reason, the other one that we just landed uh, next to, it seemed to be like grayed out and like a different style of statue. So I don't know what that one is. Maybe it will become a save point down the line. Hello, what is that? You found a fairy. This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. Oh, well, I guess it would have been nice if we were actually in need of that. Hello, who's this? The old one. Ah, oh, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Blank? Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. Can you imagine? She's just been sitting here this whole time while Link's been growing up. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you are two. You two are a part of. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? And she's of course referring to Zelda here. That is understandable, but for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. Okay, so the Farron Woods don't seem to be all that far, or at least the path that leads to the Farron Woods. You will be traveling an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance. Enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press A to place a beacon. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. Go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. I already have. Is she trying to hypnotize us? With her hair? Uh, Dorcas says, hello, what's up? You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travels. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Okay, so here we go. To the wild, wild fields we go. We do see the beacon, just as the uh, old one promised. Oh my goodness, that seems like a big party of enemies up ahead. Okay, before we fight, I definitely want to replenish our stamina. Is that all? I think that was all. Okay. Here we go. Out of the way! Scram! Oh, 
Okay. Ooh -wee. Slice and dice. Okay, now I'm gonna try to practice blocking. Got him. That's right, dude. Who? Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. No worries. I don't even know who this guy is. Just who were those red pests? Why do you have a heart inside your stomach? But okay. I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you a big, sorry, I owe you big for taking care of those guys. So let me tell you something fascinating. Oh, here we go. So he's going to teach us about these statues, I guess. Hey. hey, bud. I'm Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there's some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from the Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it and keep tabs on the number of landmarks they are rumored, sorry, and keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Um, sure. We'll just be polite. We'll be polite. Sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. All right, bud. You had a better... Br Sorry, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on this sky island and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. That is true. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict and unhappiness. Well, that's not necessarily true. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. Also, not necessarily true. But it does not even stop there, bud. This Isle of Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruits that cure all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. This really is a case of um, the grass is greener on the other side, which it is not. Uh, and the weather. Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong. It is beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Sure, keep going. Good to hear, bud. I'm completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info. Well, considering we're from there, we know that half of that was completely false. Whoa, the statue has come to life. That seems like a toucan bird there, no? Whoa. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it. But how crazy is that? Behind the temple to the sky. Okay, so we can save and we can use this set of statues to actually travel. Which is interesting, I suppose. But I think, I believe that if you have the uh, amiibo, the, um, what is this one called? Zelda and Loftwing amiibo, then I think you can do that at all times. I think. Uh, Goro. Why is he just saying Goro? Ooh. Yo, Monk, uh, if you keep saying that, bro, I'm going to time you out and then you get spammed, bro. I mean, you get banned. Enough. What was that? Ooh. The statue just reached to you. What did you do? Come on. Do not make a big, a big guy beg. I have got to know. Well, we're from the Skyloft, so that's probably why it worked. I, I'm guessing, at least. Ooh, what are these? Is this a rock? Is this some sort of fruit or nuts or something? I don't even know. Interesting. Huh? 
Looks like I can't really find anything there. Okay. Um, we're obviously meant to go through here. Nice. We're back to 77 rupees. But what's up here, I wonder? Seems like a cave. Can we even push this? Yes, we can. Okay. So this, I guess, is kind of a shortcut, no? Is this where we started? I think it is, right? Oh, boy. Here we go. man. Okay, there was another one of those statues over here. Okay, but... I thought maybe it would give you something because it did say, like, find the other statues to learn new information. So I thought that would be the case here, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, Blizzard Peak says, Hi, Blitzorian. New viewer here. Uh, you ever play any other Zelda games, or is this your first? This is my third Zelda game. I've played Breath of the Wild, uh, not Wind Waker. What was the other one? Oh, actually, I have played a little bit of Wind Waker. Um, I guess fourth, but I barely played Wind Waker. Um, I played the remake Link's Awakening, so I played that uh, all the way through, Breath of the Wild all the way through, and then this will be the third one. <laughs> Master, now that you have access to the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo options from the options. Okay, that seems a little redundant, but okay. You can enable or disable amiibo options from the options. Okay. Okay. Well, this is the path that leads to the Farron Woods. So here we go. Whoa. Okay, I expected something very, like, dark and gloomy, but it's really nice and uh, bright out here. Master, you have entered the Farron Woods. Like, this looks like a pretty peaceful spot, you know? I was expecting something more like, um... What's that, uh... Wooded area that you visit between... Pallet, not Pallet. Uh, is it Pewter City? I don't remember. The first wooded area that you go through in um, Pokemon. Okay, another part of the map has unlocked. Sweet. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. Okay, that would be a very quick game if we find her right away. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Okay, we shall do just that. Can I slice through this? I can. Like a bouse. Not that I know if we should be doing that, actually. Because maybe... Maybe we're supposed to climb those? Okay, another statue. I'm not even using the dowsing abil ability for now because I know that it has to be somewhere over to that side. Uh, just because that's the way that this area opens up. There's nothing that I could go to up here at least not right now so um so let's see if i could make this jump okay we're gonna swing across wait what oh it's the right stick to swing i was swinging with the left stick and i'm like why is this not working very epic jump i mean kind of anticlimactic gotta be honest with you I don't know how much this game has aged 
well or poorly. Again, I'm kind of a novice when it comes to Zelda. So far, my favorite part of the game has been the music. Which I know sounds like a negative, but that's just the truth. Slice and... Oh, so if you do multi-slices, then you can get rupees. Cool. Okay, so once we're through this, then we're going to use the dowsing to... They're really not. There we go. Uh oh, some more foes. What's up? Uh oh, something is under attack. Oh, you got a golden skull, a real rarity among skull ornaments. It shines with an eerie golden color. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's another treasure that we have now. Clapped him. I'm just going to collect some of the loot before we talk to this other character. Okay. Did you play Zelda or Zilda? I don't know what Zilda is, but I did play Zelda Link's Awakening. Yes. So this is Manchi. Could this thing be any more adorable looking? It's like a fat penguin or something. I don't even know how, what kind of animal that would be. Now there's a green one. I don't even know. Uh, I didn't even know that they come in green. Don't hurt me. Does Link never talk? Is that a thing? Is he like Snake Eyes, sort of? Kind of. I mean, Snake Eyes has had, obviously, some interpretations where he does talk, but I'm just curious. Okay, so now I got to figure out a way up this crazy hill. Ooh, we made it. For now, again, not using dowsing because there's only one way to go, so I know we're headed the right way. Oh, okay. Big giant mushroom field, it looks like. Fan of DBZ says, hello, but I've not been on one of your live streams in a while, so I'm here. Uh, how are you? I've been doing stuff. Sorry, I have missed so much. No worries, fan of DBZ. Thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate the support, man. And uh, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I don't know if you gain anything from this. It doesn't look like you can jump on these or anything. What is this thing? Okay, we have another save point. The game seems to be very generous with the save points, at least right now, you know? Whoa. Dang it. Took some damage right there. What is making that? Oh, is that him? There we go. Stun Spore! He's like an Oddish or something. What is he saying? Sounds like he's going... Uh-oh. No, no, no. Turn around, turn around, turn around the camera. Got him. Okay, so he's a little further up. I swear. I was like, bro, how rude. We helped him out. Okay, there's something up here. Oh, can't go there.
Oh, I bet you we'll get... Oh, this is probably where we use the bomb ability after to clear things. Okay, so there's only one way to go. Okay, so I got a sprint, and then what was it to do the barrel roll? Yeah, it was clicking the left stick. Okay. So, whoops. I'm so used to moving the camera with the right stick. Whoops. Hello. It spotted me again! <laughs> nice defense mechanism. It just turns into a plan. You don't want to eat me? And come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? Exactly! I'm Machi. I'm a... Kikwi? Is that how you say that? You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird. I'm not going to make the sound effects for him. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Zelda? What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, but she escaped with the Kikwi Elder. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose that's good news. <laughs> this thing's going to have a heart attack. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I've marked the position of the Kikwi known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this quick Kikwi most likely produces a false positive dousing reaction due to uh, previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize that there is an 85% chance that the Kikwi Elder will also generate a dousing reaction from the same, sorry, for the same reason. I propose you continue dousing to search for Zelda. You really spooked me. Whew, you keep some very strange company, friend. It sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the Elder. If you're heading that way anyway, we would like... Uh, would you mind telling our elder that I am safe? Cheer up! I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Okay. Whoops. Okay, we got our HP back. So... Nothing from that. Now, this is a path that we took before, but now we can actually make our way through a lot quicker. Thomas Collins, what's up? You got an ember relic. These ember-colored chunks of precious stones are found everywhere. No one knows where their strange shape comes from. Cool. Man, we're filling up that board pretty quickly. I'm a little surprised by how many treasures we're getting. And I guess, more importantly, how quickly we're getting them. Okay, so let's use the dowsing. Okay, so it's obvious we got to head that way. Okay, roger, roger. Can I climb up here, though? Interesting. Got some enemies in sight. Hey there! Get shrecked, dude. Let's go. Easy game. Oh, wait, is that where you have to slice that part that turns orange? Is that what it is? Possibly. Hello. What the heck are you? Okay, so I don't know how to fight this guy yet. My guess is that it'll probably be something that we could fight further down the line. Maybe we need... Well, actually, maybe I could deflect. Maybe I could use the shield to deflect an attack from this. Ha! Ah, outsmarted him. Thank you. No! 
it. Okay, I'm going after my rupee. Go. Jump. Give me that. That was probably very unnecessary, but YOLO. I don't even know where this is going to take us. Ooh, nice. That's pretty good. Yo, please don't spam, dude. Okay, there you go. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, this is a different one. Okay. I was like, at first I thought it was the same character. I'm Olo. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here. Okay. So I guess we're able to... I can't stay up there. So I suppose I have to go this way, right? Okay, sweet. So now we can climb back up again. Okay, so now I know how to fight. Ah, yay, yay. I say I know how to fight these things, and then I go on and lose. That's brilliant. 10 out of 10 bullets. There we go. Ooh. Should be able to crawl through there. Oh, well, this takes us to a whole new area altogether. Interesting. I think I might actually have to stop using the shield because... Because it's kind of running low. Nice. Oh, what's that? Is that a fairy? Huh. I don't even know. Could have been a fairy for all I know, but... Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Ooh. Man, I could definitely use some hearts right now to heal back up. That would be sweet. Uh, well, I'm going to go now. Just wanted to say hello because I haven't said hi in a while. So bye now. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in, man. I wonder if we use the dousing here. Yeah, so it's definitely leading in that direction. There's also some sort of a giant crate up there. Interesting. And that'll be probably something that we could use down the line for now. Let's keep going. Ooh. Okay, this looks like a castle. Are these birds going to attack us? Yep. Bird, 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 bird. Fight me, bird. Come here, bird. Okay, they they don't want to fight you. Even though the music sounds like they do want to fight you, but they don't seem to actually be fighting us. So I guess that's kind of nice. Sweet. I feel like this is a grass cutting simulator, this game, you know? Why are you attacking Manny's bird? Because sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to take the bird down. I forget, what was the button for when you sneak up to an enemy? Press. There's like two buttons that you gotta hold. And then you get um, a takedown. Ooh, hold up. Finally, some HP. Don't mind if I do. Is there some over here as well? Sweet. I think this is just the dead end here, right? Yep. Blitz is injustice tomorrow. Absolutely.
Espion plays, what's up? I do not detect a strong dousing response corresponding with Zelda in this area. It would be best to move your search to another location. Okay. Took like the game is like, bro, stop wasting time, bro. I'm like, I'm trying to explore. It's an action adventure game. What, what about the adventuring part? But the game is probably like, bro, you got to rescue Zelda. That's priority number one. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... Du, 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 du. Can I jump up there or is this too far up? That's too far up. Can I jump onto this? No. Okay, so for now, no way to keep going this way. So I guess over to this side we go. And if the bird wants to fight me, bring it on. You're going to have to attack. I can't jump up there. Okay. So that means I have to go this way. Oh, boy. I thought that's where the log was, so we could push that down, but clearly I thought incorrectly. Uh, I don't think we could make that jump, so the only thing we can do is actually probably drop down. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? Is that a house or something? So this is where we would run up, actually. As we make our way up that little hill. What is that? Oh, another one of the claws. Okay, so I guess maybe they're not quite as rare as I had initially thought they were uh do i buy ps plus uh to verse pav let's go marsh bring it bro okay getting the loot getting the loot oh no how do you get rid of this thing oh, okay you do a little quick barrel roll and then you're fine Bro, I swear. It's like the only moves that work. This is... Th the handling on controller is horrible. For the slicing. Like, it's, it's just so incredibly inconsistent. It's a bit of a bummer. I guess it's not that bad, but I don't know. It's just so finicky. Like sometimes it works, and then other times it'll just activate like a crazy combo that you're like, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't want to do that." But the game's like, mm, "No, you did," and you tell the game, "No, I didn't." But the game goes like, mm, "No, you did," and so it's a bit of a debate. Anything behind the waterfall? Absolutely, positively nothing. So I suppose that only leaves us with one other area to go. Got him. Okay, good stuff. Ooh, another shortcut. The game was made for uh, motion controls. Yeah, I know. But if you're going to release it on a system and say that it has non-motion control support, then I think that it's a prerogative, especially when you've taken 10 years to do so. I think you have to make it work, right? It's kind of silly that it comes down to what? The consumer's fault? Like, oh, bro, you got to play it motion control. Well, then don't give me an option to play it non-motion control. Right? And some people, like myself, don't like motion controls. So... Okay, could we bump into this? Whoops, there's a bug. Oh, we caught him! A woodland rhino beetle! Cool, so that's our first bug. I guess we can catch bugs without um, uh, a bug's net, which is definitely news to me. 
I didn't know that. Okay, so we can make our way down there. Can we even head this way? Hold up. I'm a little worried about how does the... Um, what happens with the shield if you run out of um, dexterity for it? Does it just break? Do you have to buy a brand new shield and pay 50 rupees for it? Or will you be able to repair it and... Because that's obviously kind of a pretty key detail. Later in the game, you can sell the bugs. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what we need to do that for, at least right now. But I'm sure that there will be a reason for it down the line. Okay, so I wonder if that's the elder right there sleeping. I think I have to go that way. Unless if, of course, this door is already open or like is possible to open. The door is sealed shut. There you go. That answers my question. Bruh. Okay, well, that means there's only one way to go, and that's on this zip line. There we go. Let's rotate the camera before we go for this jump. Here we go. Swing. That worked out perfect. 10 out of 10 swinging mechanics. There we go. That worked out. Hello. Are you the elder? Here's all the thick comments. Get ready. Nice jump blitz. Yep, that was a quick... Uh, The girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yeah, she was with me. But now is the time for such talk. The woods, sorry, is no, not the time for such talk. Uh, the woods are full of monsters. I'm worried about my missing tribe. The shock and worry uh, has made my memories for the, of the girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people? I love how this guy has a um, eye mask, kind of like Robin. Two more of my tribe are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search the area for them and make sure they are safe? I've been worried about my fellow uh, Kikwis, uh, but if you could put my fears to rest, I might remember something about where the girl you seek went. Okay, so we have to find the other two. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kik Kikwi Elder is an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be added, sorry, will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis to it as a dowsing option. Cool. So that's really, really helpful. Do you need me to explain how to switch dowsing targets? No, thanks. I think we got it. Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover on your map uh, and disable dowsing readings for them. That way, you will not revisit the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwi. Okay, so I bet you that there's something through here. Sweet. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a... Oh, wait. We don't need the fairy. We're full HP. That went perfect. It'd be nice if the game told me some way of how I'm supposed to... Um, Get rid of those things while I'm on a tightrope, but I guess I guess that's not necessary. I mean, it seems like a pretty necessary thing, but what do I know? Clearly, salty blitz. 
I knew we were gonna fall too, but the issue is that I was just hoping that it would work on the basis of um, if I jostle down, I thought, okay, maybe by doing that, it will work fine, but nope. Oh, I understand. I probably needed to jostle down. Bruh. Oh! I understand how to do it now, though. Basically, you have to jostle down, then uh, get across. I guess, maybe? Like, it, it won't connect to your arms or something? Rage and T minus 10. Possibly. Rage might be... Rage might be on the horizon. But there might not be any rage, you know? If we get a cool soundtrack moment or something a little more peaceful and zen, you never know. There might not be any rage. You know? And on the bright side, I'm learning how to rope swing really well. So that's some. Right? That's got to count for some. No, 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 no. Got it. Okay, I guess we drop. Don't want to take fall damage. That worked. Dang it. Now I understand that the trees that have the orange, like, little aura thing, I think those are the ones that you can... There you go, you see? You get other treasure off of those. Hello! And who do you think you are? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! He called him back up! Bro! Bra, bra! Okay, we survived. Got him. We did it! Oh, there's another kick we! <laughs> this was so funny. You fought off all those red guys, so does that mean that you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly and I can't get down. Think you could help me? Um, sure? I just don't know how I could help you. Am I supposed to climb the tree? Oh. Well, I guess that helped. <laughs> Link must have a concussion by now, honestly. The amount of times that he has gone ahead and bumped headfirst into a tree is just absurd. Uh, that was uh, effective. Anyway, thank you. I'm saved. Really? The Elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear that he's safe. My name's Lopsa. If you see the Elder, can you please tell him where I am? My legs are still shaking. Okay, so... That's another one. Can I climb this? Oh, maybe I can actually rope swing on this. Ten out of ten. Mega big brain blitz. Can this thing slow down again? We're gonna really swing here. What the heck, man? Oh my goodness! 
The rage! It's starting to... It's starting to stack. Got it. Oh. Finally. Finally. Okay, let's push this down. Booyah. Another task complete. Now, we're gonna use... Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Okay, so up there. Huh. Interesting. So I gotta figure out a way up there first, though. Do mm. what? I can't get up there from here. Okay, there has to be a way up, though, obviously. Oh, hold up. I think we might have just discovered it. That was easy enough. Here we go. Climb up. No, 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 no falling. Okay, we got a piece of heart, which if we collect four of those, will actually increase the capacity of amount of health that we have, which is pretty awesome. Three to go. Okay, problem is this did not lead me to where I thought it would. Um, another beetle drop. Can I just fall? Fall? No, don't balance. No, fall. 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 Get the beetle. Finally. Holy moly. Look at me strafe everything like an absolute souse bows. Um, hold up. Why did I not do this? I gotta activate all of these different shortcuts to make sure that they're available to us. Okay, let's... Okay, so it's that way. So, let's go through here and see. Oh, up on that ledge. Okay. Nothing. Here we go. Yikes! We made it up! We made it up! Noise, noise, noise. Okay, we're gonna need to jump over. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Let go. Sweet. Nice. Okay, cool. Hey. What's up? We found them! I've been discovered! And here I thought I had a good hiding place. I am... Erla? Is that how you say that? You won't find another Kikwi in these woods that's half as good at hiding as I am. Except the Elder, of course. Well, the Elder is horrible at hiding. I'm not detecting any additional dousing responses in the area. I suggest you go speak with the Kikwi Elder. Okay, so I guess that's it. We've completed everything that we needed to. And... I suppose... We are ready to go. Okay, we're gonna actually use this shortcut up here because I think that is the fastest way for us to get back over to the Kikwi Elder. 
because I think if we go... Th oh, okay. Never mind. No! Oh, boy. Here I was thinking, oh, this will work just fine. And then I realized, wait on a minute. It won't work. What if one of the Kikui's vent? Then we're going to be in trouble, dude. There we go. Okay, looks like I'm going to actually have to go the long route. I thought that there would be a way to climb back over to that rope, but there wasn't, which is obviously a bummer. Can I make this jump? Nope. That was a little ambitious there. That would be like if Link, I guess, uh, tried out for the long jump team. Can't jump onto that rope either. <laughs> DC Fandom, are you excited? I am. I think the last one was awesome. It had a lot of really cool panels and stuff, so... I don't see why this one won't be a good show. Hello! So all my fellow kickways are well. And they want me to stop worrying? Excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where that young lady went. That young lady? Girl? Zelda? That was her name? Yes? It's all coming back to me. She said that she had to travel to the temple deep within the woods. Oh, and I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own just the same. Where? Uh, okay, we've been there. I think she headed down that way toward the temple. But be sure to take great care if you follow her. The area is crawling with monsters. I almost forgot. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Let me just fetch it for you right now. Pardon me a moment. Uh, Link, move, move, move. <sighs> okay, thank you. Thank you for fetching that slingshot. Cool. Okay, so we can use uh, Deku Seeds in order to use the Slingshot, which I guess means that our very first weapon has now become uh, unlocked. Or second weapon. With that Slingshot, should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. I think we found pathway there already, but okay. To start, why not try shooting that curled up vine there? Hold the ZR to ready your Slingshot. Then release the R to let a shot fly. If you run out of ammunition, just grab some seeds from the fruit that grows over the trees. Sorry, that grows over on the trees there. Now go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you. Okay, so we're going to press ZR. Uh, oh, ZR. My bad. Wrong button prompt. And boom. The first one doesn't count. No! Seriously. Nobody, nobody say anything about the first shot. It doesn't count. Could have probably just jumped right away, but YOLO. We made it now. Ta-da. Thank you. Nice. Can I not just swim through here? Have you been to the other islands in the sky? Uh, no. I think we've only been to one island so far. So I guess now we actually have a way. What the heck? Me, bird try me just you try me ah. 
Yeah, what's up now? Hello, is this Peter? I would like to report. <laughs> Uh, yo, Yusuf, still grinding. Thank you for the 199 super chat. Uh, say, Master Shifu, you look like you have put on some weight. XD, who's Master Shifu? Is that the one from Breath of the Wild or no? Or am I wrong, Yusuf? And thank you so very much for the first and biggest super chat of the stream. I just watched your original Lego Batman walkthrough and I forgot you used to swear. Oh, lol. This is why I hate boats. Why? They weren't th really that annoying. It was pretty easy. Wait. Why am I not able to bring up... There we go. Sweet. <gasps> We're ready to climb. Put that away. Climb the... Climb the... Rope. Rotate around. Now we got to do some crazy swing here. One. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, nice. Deku seeds. Cool. So now we're going to be able to start collecting those for our slingshot. Fantastic. Into the big dark cavern we go. Whoa. What the heck was that? Enemy spotted. Seems like some sort of a uh, creature's uh, following Link. I don't know who that was or what that was. There's a big giant temple. In the Farron Woods, this is the Deep Woods. Okay. Seems like a pretty obvious path we must take, so. We'll be able to just. Okay. Well, we got a hornet's larva. The problem here... I don't know how to fight... ...off all these bees. Cool. No flowers for you. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of tense. Not gonna lie. That that looked like it could have gone really badly. Fortunately enough, we survived. Fortunately enough, we managed to get a pretty good amount of loot in the process. So, I don't know... Mechanically speaking, what some of these items will be for. Because, like, for example, in Breath of the Wild, um, I know that in Breath of the Wild, you use um, all the ingredients as ingredients to, like, cook meals. They give you different boosts. I don't think I've seen anything here that indicates that there is going to be a crafting system that requires cooking. So I'm not really sure... how applicable these goods are to actual gameplay mechanics. I think they're all mostly probably for selling and then buying upgrades and fixing your weapons and things like that. Okay, back to full HP. Sweet. So I think that I will actually have to... Can you let go of that? Yeah. 
Oh boy. Well, I, I don't know how to fight the bees. Is there no way to fight them? Like once you've taken down their hive, they're just going to come after you. huh? Oh my goodness. That is a massive drop. Don't look down. Don't look down. Why is the camera pinned down? What if I have a fear of heights? I don't, but what if I did? Because I have no fears. I'm way too uh, fearless. Uh, I recall those being elixirs. Um, I don't know. So far, I haven't come across... Oh, actually, no. I guess there were potions. But to be fair, the potions never required... Actually, I think the ladies... Um, the main lady that sells you potions... She did say that I think her husband can, like, craft better potions, I think. So I guess maybe that is where you would use, like, the bee larva and things like that. Oh, wait. More Deku seeds. Nice. Rushed him. Get good, dude. Get good. Okay, I can't get across that way, so I think the only way to go is up. Why does it say leap? Oh, because I could do this quicker. Sweet. Nice, nice. And very nice. Okay. So, first of all, I should be able to probably knock these things down. Which would save me a whole lot of trouble. Is he going to knock me down from this thing? I swear. I swear he better not. What? Back it up, pal! Back it up! Why the heck would the camera just turn around like that? E he XD. Genius! Genius level play! By yours truly. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good! We survived. It was a bit of a disaster, but we survived. Hey, Edith, what's up? How are you doing? Okay, I gotta stay away from that Because that's a trap We gotta get those things to go Boom shakalaka Can I jump up here? Cool, we'll be able to save our progress here mm, Oh, nice Oh boy, what the heck was that? Oh, okay It's that thing We fought you before Got him. Nice. Got them all. Are you just supposed to chill? Yeah, this is kind of relaxing right here. Let's have a quick hydration break. I could talk to chat a little bit. You know? What's up, chat? How are you guys all doing? Did Fragment super chat? Fragments, thanks for the two Bakaru super chat. I don't know what you super chatted, but it says message retracted. Uh, I hope we get underground exploration in Breath of the Wild 2. Aren't they going to the skies, though? That will be Breath of the Wild 3 underground. Happy to hear that, Rick Sanchez. You can get the bug net. Well, then we'll get it. Once I see it, we'll get it. Okay, that was a little scary. Oh my goodness. 
No flowers. Good stuff. Okay. What the heck are you? Okay. That's a much tougher plant. That one took three shots instead of one. Are they increasing difficulty? Ooh, a chest! Okay, is this gonna be the bug net? Nope, it's a red rupee. It's worth 20 rupees. Don't spend it all at once. Okay. Hello, it's Gorkor again. Now there's a face I know. Hey, bud. Hey. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here, I stumbled onto one of these things just now, and it looks like uh, something that I've seen in those ancient texts. Okay. That has the Legend of Zelda logo. If I remember right, yep, this is one of the things the goddess was said to have left behind uh, for the hero of the legend. Okay. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought up a name for these things. I've been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? I suppose so. Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see. Summon forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. I see you got yourself a sword there. What do you say we try and crack the mystery of this cube together? Sure. Okay, so I think what we have to do is charge up the uh, heavenly strike and then hit the cube. The light from a heavenly blade. Yep. Ta-da! What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Nothing. Great. Did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. Yeah, I know, but... Oh, is it somewhere in the sky loft now? Maybe that's what it is. The texts say that there are cubes like that all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find, and if you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. I bet you that the cube has blasted off into the sky loft, and now there's probably something that we get to unlock by visiting the sky loft once more. Okay. Okay, nice. So now we have a quick way up. Yeah, I got 300 rupees. I hope that's an impressive amount. Hopefully we'll be able to get some nice. Okay, some Deku seeds. We're back to full. And strike! Let's go. Okay, so that's another cube. Okay, a bunch of fruit fell down. I mean, this is a lot of work for one rupee. Wait, what? Have I... Can I not carry more than 300? Dude! Bruh, 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 bruh. When was the game gonna tell me that? Hey, bro, you can't carry more than 300 rupees. I'm over here collecting rupees like a maniac. I look over at my uh, rupee bank account and... What the heck was that? Yo, that's lame, seriously. I never even had an opportunity to like, spend it anywhere right now. Hold up, can you just... Oh, the camera is so good. So good. Look at that focus. Look at that focus. Just tremendous. There you go. Finally. My gosh. Okay. What is this? Is this a gravestone? He who descended from above, look to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon, and aim your shot there. 
that the bird gazes upon? Which bird? Look to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon and aim your shot there. Okay, well, I guess I'll keep a lookout for a bird statue or something. These are leaves, so... There's some birds, but... They're not gazing at anything, so I'm not sure... What they mean. I guess we'll figure that out. Hold up, before I continue, I want to save. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. I mean, that was kind of annoying. It'd be nice if the game taught you that. Like, hey, dude, you can only carry 300 rupees. The door is sealed shut. Oh. Awkward. That's a tree. Huh. These fruit have respawned. Is this a bird? I don't think it is. Oh, I see. I understand which bird they were referring to. Whoa. Creepy, creepy, creaky doors. Here we go. Is he still being followed by whatever that was? Oh no. Okay, the game just saved. I'm not sure why it gave us a save right before this, if there was an auto save, but okay. So this is the Sky View Temple. Looks more like an underground temple. I'm not getting very sky vibes. Master, I have bad news. The ores of many creatures creatures reverberate throughout this temple and as a result i can't isolate zelda's aura you will not be able to track her here given the situation i suggest you look around to see where we should move next okay i mean that sounds like a pretty reasonable thing to do this is this another save point okay why so many times like is this game supposed to be challenging is that why because I don't understand why there's this many save spot. Okay, I gotta stop collecting loot. I don't need it anymore. Or, it's not that I don't need it. I do need it. I just can't actually benefit from it right now. Come on. Crushed him. Don't even know why I'm going for the rupees. No point. I mean, it makes it easy to fight these guys because it's such like a close tunnel here that it's pretty simple to get through, at least so far. Okay. I think I have to stun him probably first. Yep. Okay. So these, I guess, are activation points. So now we'll know if we find any of those uh, pink slash purple diamonds. It looks like... Dang, Link! Holy! <laughs> My guy's working out, bro! He just walks up to the store like, yo, no big deal. Check it out. Boom. What the heck was that? Like the Hulk would have to take a moment with that one. He who descended from the sky, lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. Lend your ear. Huh. 
Well, that does not work. Lend your ear. Whoa, how the heck did I just do that? Um... Can I jump over? Ow. That does not work. Lend your ear. Huh. Do I need to have him look down? Is that what it is? No. Okay, let me read that. He who descended from the sky, that's us. Lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. Is that... Do I need to talk to... Um, Fi? Or Fi? Master Link, it is likely that I am the servant that this tablet is referring to. To help you with your mission, the goddess gave me a massive quantity of knowledge about this land. Should you find yourself in need of answers, I hope you won't hesitate to call on me on, by pressing down. If you target an object with ZL, then press the down button. I will tell you all the information about it. Okay. Your wallet is full. You will not be able to collect any more rupees. Okay, but that's not what I'm... The integrity of your shield has a weekend to be... This magical sentry has a natural tendency to stare at the tip of a pointed object. Well, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. That doesn't work. Am I supposed to maybe just confuse him? <laughs> yeah, I'm, yo, I'm hypnotizing him. Dude, I actually did. That worked. What? Bro. Nine thousand. Oh, now chat's coming through saying circle. Yeah, nine thousand IQ. I figured it out. Whoa. Oh boy. Took a little bit of damage. That kind of sucks. And another bird statue though. A ba 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 bird. Ba 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 bird. We save our progress. Lovely. Wonderful, wonderful. Very happy about that. Now, it seems as though... There's only one way to go. Get crushed. Okay, so that's closed. I should be able to probably make that jump, actually. But what about over here? Is there any reason to go here? I mean, I shouldn't be... I keep exploring, but there's no point in doing so because there's no longer any rewards for the rupees. Like, we already carry the max amount of rupees, so it kind of stinks. Why can't I jump onto this log? There we go. Hmm. Okay, well, I suppose... Oh, hello. Find another one. Okay, so that's another pathway opened up. And another temple. Door will be ours. Ah, interesting. I didn't even pick up on these guys. Okay, we've defeated them all. Oh, hidden area, I think. Wait, or is this right back to where we came from? 
Oh, I think this is right back where we came from, no? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Can't get up there right now. Okay, I do want to try to see if I can make this jump. It looks like that door, by the way, is still locked. Although, I suppose... I can probably unlock it with just that button prompt. Okay, so we have two different doors. Chat, which door should we take? Let's, let's hold a quick poll while you guys vote. Which door should we take? Left or right? Oops. You guys vote. And while you guys are casting your vote, I just want to see if I can actually make this. I cannot. Okay, good. So you guys cast your vote. I'm going to go quickly run to use the washroom, which will be perfect uh, to give you guys a little bit of time to cast your vote. So we are either going to go left first or right. I'm guessing we have to visit both in order to get the central door. So I'll be right back. In the meantime, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget, guys, you can support the channel by becoming a member. You could be the first member of the day. Consider becoming a member. Link is in the description. Thank you so very much for your support. And of course, thank you to the super chatters so far. I will be right back. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. like some sort of a name. Is that Dumbledore's cousin? Temple door? Okay, let's see what you guys voted for. We're gonna see. You guys voted 53% of the vote said to go to the right door. Okay. So, to the right door it is. Look at Link doing a little dance. He was doing a little dance. I didn't see it. Dang it. Must have stopped as soon as I was here. Whoa! Yo, thank you for the super chat. Hold up. I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Oh, two doors lead to rooms, left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, one is below. Uh, Shivers Boy, thank you so very much for the two buckaroo bomb. Thank you for the support saying, just got home from work. How is everyone? Uh, I'm doing well. Can't speak on behalf of uh, the rest of chat, but thanks for uh, asking. Guys, give him a, give him a quick uh, thanks for asking. You guys could show some appreciation. The chivalrous boy inquiring how your day is going. Okay, so... Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to cancel the shot. That way you're not wasting it. There probably is. Okay. 
Okay. I'm still collecting rupees, even though I'm, there's no benefit to collecting them, unfortunately. I wish there was. But... Ooh, hold up. Can I squeeze through there? Yes, I can. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. Hit that. Boom shakalaka. Activate the waterways. Beware the bounce back. What's the bounce back? Oh, from the giant spider? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, wait. How do I go back down now? Wait, did I just... Go go Super Jack. Run! Bro! Who are you? Alexander Capasso! Bada beam, bada boom! Holy moly! Biggest super chat of the stream, biggest super chat of the month. Good googly moogly. Alexander Capasso, let's get that super chat hype. That emote is there hibernating, but bam, it appears. Alexander Capasso, thank you for the insane 100 buckaroo bomb coming in hot like, a, like an airplane with mic drops. Holy moly. I was so, like, focused on the audio of the game and the cave, I did not expect the tactical super chat incoming. Also, chat, I'm gonna need some help. How can I... How can... Oh, there. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not stuck. Alexander Capasso says, keep up the good work. Yo, man, thank you so very much, dude. That's insane, man. That is super duper generous. Um, That's nuts. Seriously. Those kinds of super chats are like, brah. Or should I say? Brah. That is, uh... Crazy, crazy, crazy. Thank you so very much for the support, Alexander. Why does he swim like this, though? Because I think in the regular game, I think in, if you're using motion controls, you probably have to, like, move your hands and then he would swim. But because I'm using a controller... Um... Because I'm using just a controller, I think it they just automatically like have it huge so it works with one arm. Okay, but I can't get up anymore. Or any further. Huh. Okay. It said that there's one gem above and one below. Is it talking about this room? Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but or does it mean the room, like the room back there? Maybe it means that room. Oh, dang it. I'm stuck in the webs. I think that's what it means. It probably means the room across, right? Because there's no left and right. Oh, maybe there is left and right there. We'll see. Yusuf still grinding, says I'm back. What's up, man? To get the bug net, you have to go back to the Skyloft. Yeah, Jay, I, I I will. We will go back there. Why does Link swimming in this game make me legit uncomfortable? Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Okay. So I know how to fight these things now. You hit them once, and then when they turn around and they make that, like, blue... Okay, I don't know how to fight them. What the heck? Dude, they could not care less. The disrespect. Okay, I, I need help, chat. How do I fight this thing? Everything that I thought would work is not working now. No way Spider is in this game. He's supposed to be playing Fortnite <laughs> Customs. That's a good one. That's a good one. You gotta, you gotta edit uh, Spider's PFP onto that spider there. Why does Link... Oh, we just read that. The rope. Oh, okay. So I can't fight them head on. Is that what it is? Hit it, dot. Well, that wouldn't work, Hyper Gamer. Did you watch me try to hit it there? What do you think? I didn't try that? Actually, I wonder, could I swing? 
Can you swing in multiple directions or no? Oh, okay. Hold up. So here's what I'll do. I'm actually gonna swing this way. Swing. I don't understand how the swinging works, because I think it's holding R, but then... Okay. So now I understand what you meant by bounce back. So I, I think I finally figured out how to fight those guys. You hit them. Then as they come back, you have to move out of the way or put the shield up, right? That's probably what it is. I really hope that I finally have it figured out, but maybe I'm wrong. Again, I'm a Zelda noob. I acknowledge it. And the other Zeldas that I played never had any of these mechanics, so that's my excuse. I don't remember these spider things being in Breath of the Wild or in um, Link's Awakening. Like, I don't remember having to fight those things, so that's all brand new to me. Okay, hold up. I'm just gonna... Hopefully I can make this. No! Why would he... Dude! Why would he let go? Link! You madman, you! He could have... Oh my goodness. If he just... If he just held on right there, we would have actually made it. No. Swing this way. Okay. Now, slow down. Now we're gonna swing. Go forwards. Go backwards. Go forwards. Holy moly, thank you for all the HP. We're back in the game, baby. Okay. In a room with two glittering gemstones, you shall find a temple map. Gaze upon that map until your eye finds the X, for it is there that you must strike another gemstone to reveal a path. Okay, gaze upon that map until your eye finds the X, for it is there that you must find... That you must strike, sorry. To find another gemstone. Hmm. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna... I got him. You see? I told you! Yo, holy bro, chill out. With the spam, dude. Come on, man. Thank you for uh, the timing out there, gaming pizza. Okay, so where does this take us? Ooh, blue chest. Oh, wait, I don't think we can open these yet. Can we? Oh, we can open this. Okay. There was one chest that we couldn't open before. You got the dungeon map! It shows the layout of the area and reveals unexplored rooms. Okay, so... Is this the map that they're talking about? You must strike... where the X is. I have information for you. Uh, you have obtained a map of this area. You can view it by pressing the minus button. The position of doors and their locks, as well as the positions and statues of treasure chests, can be confirmed on the map with marks such as X. However, be aware that you will be unable to use beacons here due to indoor nature of this environment. Due to the indoor nature of this environment. That makes sense. Okay. So that means that the room that I was just in... Wait, but... Gotta love the music. The music is awesome. I agree. So my question is... It's showing on this side that there's an X. But I think that's the one that we already hit, right? Unless... Whoops. Break free. There can't be another one, right? Like, that's referring to that, right? It's just... Hmm. I thought maybe they would disappear after you've already interacted with them. Is that a blue chest from Fortnite? It actually does look like the blue chest from Fortnite. Although to be fair, this game came out way before Fortnite was even an idea, right? So. 
Okay, but I've not been to that side. Huh. That's a save point. And we hit that. There is a chest across that way, so I guess I need to still figure out a way over there, so... Okay. Interesting, there's a log over here. That has risen. Oh boy. 10 out of 10 aim blitz. You're a loft winger? Why? We've never we haven't even used loft wing. Just one time, let's oh sorry, no, twice. For a game that really promotes the loft wing, like I mean like it's literally in the uh amiibo. Sure doesn't appear all that often. Can I lock in? Ah! No, 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 back up. Who got him? Oh, okay. I know how to defeat these things now because I'm a genius. Check this out right here, chat. Watch this. This is going to be brilliant. And. You spin my head right round, right round, like a hurricane, baby, baby, right round. Nobody clipped that. Boom. We did it. You should look around the sky and Skyloft more. Well, we'll go back to the sky. It's just our first time on the ground. It'd be weird if as soon as I've landed down on the ground, I'm like, yeah, let's just go back. You know? Okay, so we got a key. I guess the question is where... Oh, to that door. Got it. Because the water levels have risen enough to where now, if we go across, we will be able to actually reach that door. And we have a key. Sweet! Look at me figuring things out! Look at me figuring it all out. Oh boy, is this gonna be a boss fight? Okay, well, I definitely see a switch that we can hit right away. Do we have a map of this area? We do. Okay, so a key on the right, a save point on the left, which is nice, uh, followed by a pathway that leads to a chest. Lots of chests up ahead, and then Zelda's right there. Okay. Oh, hold up. Again, music is absolutely on point. I should be able to hit that thing. Bro. <sighs> that bat, like, flew out of nowhere. I thought for a second I was going to waste one of the Deku nuts on that. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some of the Deku nuts instead of these, uh... Constant? Oh! Never panicked. Dang it. Should have blocked that with a shield. Got him. <sighs> like, enough with the rupees. I don't need no rupees right now. We have maximum amount of rupees. We need Deku nuts. We barely have any of those. Oh, boy. Crush them all. Okay, there's a save point. I'm going to take... A moment to save first because we actually have not had a chance to save in a little while Ooh, okay cleared that noise i wonder if uh, if there's anybody in chat i think carrot king i think you've played right uh, oh there we go finally deku nuts or deku seeds um did you, when you played this originally on the Wii, was it also, um, did it also, like, load this quick and everything, or was it a lot slower? Okay, I think I have to go this way. What is your favorite Legend of Zelda character? Link. I know that that's, like, a boring pick, but... Okay, here we go. 
Creepy skeleton warrior. Bada beam, bada boom. Crush him. Get ourselves some rupees. Why am I collecting rupees? Can somebody tell? <sighs> I'm so boosted. It's just like out of habit. I feel like every video game that you play, you usually think, oh, there's not a limited amount of coins. It's like if in Super Mario, well, Super Mario, see, they do have a limit, actually. You have to, I think 9,999 is the maximum that you can carry before you spend it. Uh, you got the beetle, not just a beetle. This is the beetle. The unexplained power contained within this insect-shaped item allows you to control it as it flies through the air. Point the cursor where you want to go and press ZR to send it soaring. Yo, so Link had a drone before drones were even a thing. Legend of Zelda predicting everything. Blue chests for Fortnite. Drones for real life. Uh, you have acquired a new item analysis of this uh, object's insect-like profile and wings indicates it can fly. After launching it, yeah, you can remotely pilot the device. The sharp structure on the front of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to smaller objects. Press the ZR to ready the device for takeoff, then press the right button on the D-pad to learn more about its operation. Okay, well, before I do that... Oh, huh. okay, well, I guess sort of have to do that. Launch. Piloting it, piloting it perfectly, might I add. Boom. Look at me go. Boom. I reactivated that again, allowing us to exit after we walked right into a trap. Okay, we're going to go again. Is there an unlimited amount of time that this thing can fly or... How does that work? It seems like the music is starting to sort of quicken, so I wonder if that's what it is. Okay. I got that. Cool. Let's put that away. Sheesh! Salt! What do you mean salt? I wasn't salty. I was... Bro. Okay, now I'm salty. What the heck? We just brought this thing down. Oh, hello. What's up here? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Dang it. Okay. I know. I, I know what we need to do, though. First of all, we're going to bring you down. Return. Go. Quick. Link. Run. Put that away. Hit him. How do I... How do I deliver a, a jumping blow? Do something. Link. No. No, no, no. I can't... I forget how to do this. There's a... How do you do the jumping blow? Somebody, please! Oh, boy. How do you... How do you do... There's some way... Once the spider... Okay, the spider doesn't even care anymore. He's just like... Yeah, cool story, bro. Dang it. There's some way where it's like if you... When, when an enemy is like flipped over you can hit him with like this leaping jump attack 
Right stick, flick it up and down. Okay, well, that did not work. Oh, there's also a giant box right there. Okay, we'll check that out. I wish there could be a way to move a little bit faster. We got it! Up, down, up. Okay, we'll do that. Ooh, another heart scale. This is uh, number two of four. Is that a key? It's not a key. It's a fairy, though, which is also nice, considering I took a lot of damage. Sweet. Okay, I got that done. So a bit of progress made. Oh, you think you're getting away, dude? You ain't getting away, my guy. You ain't getting away. Bro. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see how good you are now. Now that I know how to do this, watch this. Yes! Boom! Nailed it. First try, baby. Let's go. Or at least it'll look like it in editing. Okay. Let's get this beetle going again. So first of all, ow. My bad, beetle. Sorry. And we don't need that. I mean, we do, but not right now. Let's see where this leads. To a switch. That opens up yet another door. Drones in Zelda game? Yeah, and think about it. This game came out in uh, 2010, originally. So, I don't remember. Did people use drones back then? I feel like we... Maybe, but it must have been, like, far less common than it is right now, right? Hold up. I'm trying to see if I can actually... Oh, I think that's a dead end, no matter what. I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna leave that one be for now. But at least I saw a switch, so I know that the switch is over on that side. Okay, there's a door. And I don't think I could make this jump. This looks a little bit too, yeah, just a tad bit too far. So I suppose that means the beetle is the way we're supposed to get around this. Got it. Let's go. Hyper Gamer, peace out, man. Thanks for hanging out, dude. The water levels rise again, allowing Link now to make his way across. Cool. Uh, and then we can go over to that side. I don't know where that will lead, but I guess we'll find out. This is Fortnite in early development stage. Yeah, very early. Let me chop everything up. I feel like I'm in uh, uh, Food Wars. I feel like Master Chef Blitz over here. Look at me go. Look. Pop, 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 pop. Look at the speed. The technique. Sh just stunning. Shocking, really. You know? So I wonder why this is even here. I guess we could crawl through here? But wait. Um, there's still a chest over on that side, so I do want to get that. Break free. Uh, 
Uh, don't you think that this game is amazing considering it came out in 2011? Uh, 2010, I think, even. Um, it's... It's so far... It definitely feels like a game uh, of its time, if that makes any sense. Just in the sense that... Oh, gosh. Okay, hold up. It definitely feels a little bit dated in parts, and it looks like it's not really designed to be played with a controller. It's designed to be played with motion controls, which, again, is not necessarily a weakness. It's just something that's a little bit... Um, hold up. Um... Is that working? Or is that not working? Or do I have to get them both? Oh, I think I have to get them both. Come on. Oh, there's a third eye. When does that one open? How does that one open? Huh. Can you do these one at a time or no? I don't think this works one at a time, does it? So the issue is that the third eye doesn't actually open. You have to do all three at the same time. But the third eye is not even opening. You have to activate it somehow, maybe? Oh, hold up. Uh, whoops. Maybe it has something to do with this box. That's just a whole bunch of hearts, which I suppose is kind of nice, but not really what we need. You have to get all three at once. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. I'm just trying to figure out how to get the third eye to actually open. Okay, launch the beetle. Ah, okay, so I think now we have a box that we can push down, hopefully. And then if we can stand on the box, maybe we elevate our character enough to where we can, while standing in front of the three eyes, they will actually respond. Okay, this chest better be something good. Usually these blue chests have given us some really good stuff. Oh, okay. Well, we need that key, don't we? For the main door. Or the door opposite of this side, I think. The one where there's like a tightrope walk. At least I think I saw a key door passageway thing there over there. So I want to go check. Uh oh. I want to check where this leads. So is this just supposed to be? I think this is just supposed to be literally like a shortcut. Let's get to 300 likes. Let's. Thank you, DG. Thank you for reminding everybody to go on ahead. And if they haven't yet, Smash that thumbs up button, guys. I really do appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Just a key, bro. Well, it's an important key because that's how you actually progress, right? In this game uh, is via... Wait, is there really nothing in here? Okay. 
At least we'll get that. A ton, a ton of rupees, but again, we have no use for them right at this very moment, unfortunately. And yet, I'm still going to go out of my way to pick them up. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, so I think... Yeah, we're done there, done there. So now we can use this key to get across. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, how the heck am I going to fight you? Oh, wait. I know how. And launch. Dang it. That was a mistakes were made moment. Sharp turn. No! Ooh, got it. Okay. Destroyed them all. Put that away. And time to balance. No, no, no. I got this. This is easy. Perfectly balanced. Like Thanos would say. Okay, another temple door has opened, and Link, once again, exemplifying his ridiculous strength. Oh, no. Okay, so this means boss fight, right? Or mini boss fight? Oh, okay, maybe not. Last time when the door closed like that, it meant we had to fight the skeleton guy. Oh, okay, yep, there is something in the middle. What the heck is that? Is that a chimera? Okay, can you hold on? I'm not really sure. Okay, so you have to cut all three of their heads off in order to uh, get the W. Straight up a uh, Hail Hydra moment right there. Okay, next door. I should be able to crush this guy. Sliced and diced. I'm starting to get better at the uh, mechanics of the game as well. Like, I'm starting to get a good handle on actually how... Um, oh, boy. Of uh, actually how... To fight well. So I'm pretty stoked for that. Okay, do you think I can make this jump? Okay, I was a little bit tense. Um, activate this. Which actually now probably allows us to go through, yep, that main area. Sweet. Okay, cool. So we've opened up the temple now. Um, it looks like there's a chest up there, so I'm going to need to take a look there in a moment. Sweet. That takes us back to the main area. An enemy across. Um... Okay, well, first of all, I see that stuff up there. I think I'm going to activate those. That's one. That's two. And... Now, I wonder if there's anything beyond this one heart that we can pick up. Yikes. No, 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 no. Okay. So I think we have to actually get across, don't we? Okay, so the way we fight these guys is I think you walk forward, then when he starts walking forward, that's when you back away, right? Yep. Oh! Dude! Drop down! Go down! Ow! There's no! There's no! Dude! Dude, this is not fair! Hold up! How is that fair? No! Bro! I forgot how to jostle! Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Ha! 
Ha ha! That's right. You got outsmarted, bro. Get outsmarted, dude. Who do you think you're messing with? I got that 9 billion IQ, bro. Oh, hi. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Keep walking. Keep walking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just a little further. Just a bit further. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you almost made it, dude. You almost got it. Yep. Amazing. Got him. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, am I really supposed to make this jump? Because that looks kind of nuts. Okay, great. I really would like to get other stuff other than rupees since those are kind of useless for us right now. Okay, I can climb up. I'm assuming this door is closed. And I think that's where the... Um, call an ambulance, but not for me. Yes, exactly. It's that meme. <laughs> Remember the guy with the gun? That's a great meme. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try this jump, guys. I, I don't... I don't know why this doesn't look like it's possible to me. Like, this looks way too far. It's probably because it is way... Oh, okay, hold up. Never mind, I might be wrong. Wait a minute. Okay, how do you get over there? I guess the way we can figure that out is launching the beetle. Are we going to climb up here at some point? Huh. Oh, I see. Okay. By actually going over to here. Whoa. Had that under control. Never, never even doubted myself on that one. Okay, now we're gonna swing. This is a pretty serious swing here. Please! Yep, got it. Okay. So now... Easy. No, go a little bit. No, a little bit. A, bit, a little bit like that. Yep. Okay, that doesn't count. Okay. No, 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 no. Go this way a little. No, a little this way. Okay. Now. No, a little to the side. Okay. Swing again. I, I don't know why I'm swinging. I'm like swaying along with Link. I, I really think it's... It's like motion controls or something. Hallelujah. Yes! Let's go! Da -da 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 -da. I got a chair! Oh, I mean, a golden carving! It legit looked like a chair from the side. Wait, this door didn't open. Am I really supposed to go back? Oh. Okay. Now I just shimmy across. And then I gotta put that chair over there. I mean, golden carving. And we're good. Look at us go. Look at us go. Look at us go. Making that way slowly but surely across. Hey, man! 
Hey, what's up, dude? You know me. Just getting tasks done like an absolute beast. Oh, it did something. It went... Got it. Perfect. First try. High caliber puzzles. High caliber puzzles. This game came out in 2011, the 25th anniversary of the Legend of Zelda series. Instructor Horwell makes a remark on this during the wing ceremony. He says it's the institution's 25th anniversary. Jay, so where does... Oh, there's the thing that was following us. The guy, girl, I don't know. What? Look who it is. Is this Ganondorf? I thought the tornado is... Oh, so this is the creature that started the tornado. I stirred up. You would have tossed... Uh, Sorry, would have tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. Dang. It's just the girl that matters now. And I can sense her here just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Demon Lord. That's going to be always just like positive vibes. Uh, who presides over this land you look down upon, this world you call the surface. You can call me. Girahim? Is that what it is? Girahim, I think. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim. But I'm not fussy. Okay. Great speech there. Whoa, look at that. Mad eyebrows. Eyebrows. Mad eyebrows in the chat. Did you really just draw your sword, foolish boy? By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger. This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. Watch out, Link. Still, it hardly seems fair being of my position to take all my anger out on you, which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. Bro! What is this game? <laughs> Yo, sheesh! Come on, man. Let's keep it. Let's keep it somewhat civilized, dude. Chill out, my guy. Oh no, he took my sword. Okay. Um Ha. I Wait, really, dude? You just threw the sword at me? I'm gonna get healing. I wonder, can I hit him with a slingshot or is that gonna be too lame? Nope, that does nothing. Okay, back to the sword, back to the sword, back to the sword. Oh, I know what I could do.
Come on! Move. How do I hit him? Maybe I'm not supposed to hit him. I rolled right past him. That boss battle is strange. Very. I don't understand how to do damage to him. Oh, wait. I know what I could do. I could do uh, focus. And then she said if I press. Okay, there we go. Target lock. Okay. I have no confirmed information about this man other than he refers to him as the Demon Lord. Yeah, I know that. I sense a powerful and evil aura. Yeah, I figured that as much. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, more info. Uh, speech announcers indicates yes, that's fine. To grasp your sword with this bear. Uh, okay. Okay. Bro, pressing left doesn't work. Pressing swinging right doesn't work. It doesn't work. Down doesn't work. <laughs> Everywhere I swing. Bro. That's that swing, this swing, this. I I literally I don't understand how to de deal damage to him. Move your sword in the direct of the back of his hand slowly so you don't swing, then swing in the other direction. Oh no, never mind, Turtle King. Turtle King, what do I do now? He's got a sword! Dang it. 
I got a block, probably. Or else I'm dead. that then can I barrel roll out of that like if I I got him trapped that worked perfectly is just the best on this. So nice. Yes! Let's go! I got him! Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible of such a soft boy, but don't clap yourself quite yet. Don't clap for yourself. Don't clap yourself would be... I don't know what that would mean. That sword of yours is the only reason you're still alive. So I guess the sword is special. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this palace or place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, sky child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. Bro, come on, man. Really? To me, it seems like he was starting to get whooped, and so he just basically excuses, excuses, but he peaced out. Because I, I think we're doing pretty well. Ooh. I think this increases our heart, I think. But it also means that we've completed this temple. While also, Zelda is no longer here. This game takes place at the very beginning of the Zelda timeline. The first game on it. That's why this takes place on Skyloft. As Hyrule, the surface is still mysterious. Oh, cool. Okay, thanks for the heads up. So this is literally, from a storyline perspective, this is the first game you should play. In the Zelda franchise. It should be more specific. Okay, so I guess we go through here. Oh, never mind. Maybe we're not done with the temple yet. Don't clap yourself. Yeah. Some fish here. Are you supposed to catch the fish? Nope. Or maybe, but not the way I'm trying to catch them. Anything over the fountain? Doesn't look like it. Okay, this seems like quite a serene place. Everything seems to be very peaceful to go from fighting a demon lord to then this. It's kind of nice. It's very nice. Yesterday, Lewis Hamilton won, but I know it was un fair is probably what he wanted to say since he took out max he spun him out and max hit the barrier at 280 kilometers an hour which is 51 g-force yeah i saw that which was insane the fact that they can go through those types of accidents and then just like walk out of the car and be fine is mind-boggling like the engineering on formula one vehicles is just spectacular and um i don't know like apparently wasn't there some controversy with that where it's like Max was kind of in the wrong as well because he had, like, swerved back into Lewis, I think. Um, am I supposed to hit that, maybe? Hit those? Okay, no. Maybe... 
That works. There we go. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. Oh, really, Darthani? I didn't know that. Well, I hope he's doing well. Is he okay? Like, nothing broken? No concussion, hopefully? From the edge of time, I guide you. The one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. And I guess that's where we're headed next. This second spring is hidden away deep within the scourged or earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for the second sacred place. What is that? Is that a tablet? Oh, it's another chunk of the tablet, remember, from the very start? He's done it. The ruby tablet. Okay. So... Masters, I just translated. It would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of this spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used uh, to move from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in the Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. I love how they just cover, like hover right over the details of like, how the heck did Zelda get out of here? I, I guess there's just no reason to talk about those details. The bird statue that transports you back to the sky should be in the forest you previously passed through. Okay. Fair enough. So I think that's one temple completed. Back to the forest. Dang it, there was that one cube behind the statue that I wish I would have activated, but we didn't get a chance to. Uh, hey, it's me, Quee. Did you find the girl? Uh, not yet. Oh, that's too bad, but it sounds like at least you know where you need to search next to find her. That's something, right? I'm all, sorry, I'm so glad I've uh, been fully reunited with all my Kikwee friends. It's all thanks to you. With any luck, hopefully you'll find the girl you've been searching for real soon. Take care, okay? Sounds good. That was so weird. You just randomly just <laughs> showed up to just say that? Okay. Well, I guess uh, for the very first time, we get to head back to the Skyloft. And to the skies we go. Where's Fat Shifu? Who's Fat Shifu? Yeah. Dang, that sucks, Thani. Yeah, that's very uh, unsportsmanlike. When you hit that goddess cube with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect the resulting energy reaction above the clouds. Oh, okay, so there's literally new islands that unlock as a result of the cubes. Cool. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. So, where is it? Oh. So, let's go check it out. Listen to this music. How poggers is that? This music is phenomenal. What is this? Is this a boost or something? Huh. Let's find out. Let's see. It looks like a speed boost. Whoa, it's a very big speed boost. Holy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. How do I descend? Land. Land. How do I? Yeah. 
Okay. Nailed it. First try. Nobody saw that. Why does Link have a girlish face? I don't know. I don't think he particularly has a girlish face. I mean, he's a animated character, right? And he's an elf. But you know. If that's what it looks like to you, I don't really know what the answer would be to that. Do, do, do. Okay, there's a lot of pumpkins. Again, no point in collecting any of these. We got a new pouch, so I guess that's kind of nice. Let's see who lives here. What a land. <laughs> I forgot how to land. I forgot that you have to press down on the D-pad again. Hello. Who are you? Hi. Welcome to every bird rider's favorite rest stop, the Lumpy Pumpkin. This is the one and only place you can enjoy some of her famous pumpkin soup. What do you think? Want to try a bit? See what all the fuss is about? Okay. I'm impressed that a young man like yourself can appreciate the refined taste. Just 10 rupees. Sure. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have an empty bottle, so... That's weird. Why would they serve soup in a bottle? Wouldn't you serve soup in a bowl? Like, that's kind of sus. Okay, hey, what's up? Listen to this. The old guy over there says he saw a demon. He obviously is trying to get uh, Kina's attention, but he won't get anywhere using creepy lines like that. Who's Kina? Is that her over there? You believe me, don't you? Sure. I know, right? Okay. Well, well, welcome. I can see from your handsome outfit there that you're a Skyloft knight. I hope that you'll make yourself at home. Have the rupees sitting on top of the chandelier caught your eye. Don't go over thinking that you can get those down. You hear? You might think that you could knock the rupees down by bumping something and making the chandelier shake, but don't even think about it. Perfect. That didn't work. Link with the concussion plays. Hey, isn't that... Uh, yeah, I am kind of wondering why you're here. I think I mentioned this before, man, but I'm really into bugs, and that's why I'm collecting insects wherever I think I'll find them. If you have a bug net too, you should try catching some. If you don't have one, you can pick one up at Beetle's Air Shop. Okay. So I think that's what you guys were referring to before. Okay, so I think if I bump into this... Come on. That doesn't work. Am I supposed to just bump into like a multitude of time? Oh, there we go. Oh, big yikes. Go! First have to pay respects to the chandelier. Why would you do that? Get down and come here this instant. Okay, we're gonna have to refund him for those with some rupees for the... Oh, okay, well, hopefully he didn't see that. We're just gonna book it out of here. You didn't see nothing. You got it? Hey, what's up? Oh, thanks. Perfect. Okay, we can talk to him now. Be like, hey, dude, what's going on, man? So what's the big idea? What's up? What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom order chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Got it? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? Sure. That's right. And I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I needed to deliver my famous soup to Egas in Skyloft's Night Commander. Is that how you say his name? The night commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup? Sure. I mean, we're going to head back to the Skyloft anyhow. Wait, what? What did he say? Okay, well, I don't have an empty bottle, so I can't 
complete this mission. Dang it. Okay, so we're gonna head back for... Oh, there's another island we've opened up, but I think we're gonna head to the Skyloft. Yeah, living blue jay. That's what I'm confused about. Like, what kind of a business is like, oh, you wanna buy some of our soup? Well, you're gonna have to provide your own bottle. Like, what is that, dude? Like, imagine if you went into like a, a drive through at, let's say, the greatest fast food place in the world, Wendy's, and right as you're about to go on ahead and get going, they're like, ah, yeah, by the way, you need to give us a plate so we can give you your food. Like, that would be ludicrous. You know? Come on. We're going up. Are we going up? For some reason, we're not gaining any height. I'm super confused by that. How do I gain height? I, I legitimately don't get it. Double press A. Oh, that's what it was. Thank you. There we go. For some reason, I thought it was only from gliding, like just the same way that uh, in Batman, like the Arkham games. Clearly, I would have been wrong about that. Stuck the landing. Okay. So, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. On the next episode, we will place the uh, next tablet into the statue and see what happens next. It should open up a new column that will allow Link to continue uh, tracking Zelda as she is headed to the Elden Earth, I think, was the name of the area. So, I think that's where we are going to be headed to next. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It would be absolutely awesome if we could hit 300 likes. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I will, of course, continue this gameplay walkthrough. Like I said, it will be all through streams. So most likely the next part will probably be on Friday. So I will hopefully see you guys here for part number three of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Why did I say Wind Waker? Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Thanks a lot for watching. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Of course, huge thank you to our insane, insane super chats today from Alexander Capasso, absolutely bananas, as well as all the other super chatters, Silver Spoil, Fragments, and Yusuf. Thank you guys for your support. And of course, in addition to all of that, guys, don't forget, if you enjoy the stream, you can hit the thumbs up button, you can subscribe, and you can also become a member if you'd like to support the channel that way. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll hopefully catch you guys here on the next one. Peace out, everybody.